Becca Cordray. I'm the choreographer for the Indie Fringe Crowd Play Project, um, and I am a theater arts educator, um, as well as a choreographer for local high schools. I think, I think theater advocacy is a huge issue today. Um, lots of schools, it's the first program to be cut, and I think it's one of the programs that is all exclusive. Um, it includes all students in all areas, um, no matter what they're good at or what they like. And I think it's really important to keep that in our schools. Well, we use the song Footloose, partly because it's a super well-known song now. Um, we use the newer version, and it's a song that is fun to dance to and interesting and Basically, um, what I did was I created two separate groups, a group of theater advocacy people, um, people who love the arts and love theater and one in the schools, and then um, people who are outside of that who um, want to get rid of the arts in our schools and want to kind of suppress the arts and really kind of kick it out. And it's kind of the battle um, between the two groups, as well as theater kind of winning over, um, you know, the schools and the superintendents and everyone who doubts the arts. Well, I think that the arts is so incredibly important and it, it gives the kids something to look forward to. It gives the kids something, um, something to do, any, any student. Um, you know, there's always something that any student can find. They can run lights, they can be on stage, they can run sound, they can build set, they can paint. Um, there's so many different areas that they can work in and be really involved and I think that's really important for our kids today. Some, it's somewhere that they can belong and something they can belong to.